I think perhaps the most astonishing thing that has ever happened to me, and, uh, well, I really have had an astonishing life. I'm not suggesting that you haven't. I don't know about you, but I certainly have had. But I think perhaps the most amazing, the most really unbelievable thing that ever happened to me was in a little pub, which is not very far from the Palladium, actually. It's a little pub called the Old Cow and Crumpet. Lots of old cows, but very... Well, however, well, one day I happened to be standing there at the bar, practically standing, and uh, I was enjoying a very nice pint of old and filthy, and I was listening to the radio, and somebody was playing the piano, and um, I'm rather fond of the piano, actually, and the chap standing next to me said, do you like the, the piano? And I said, yes, very much, especially when somebody plays it. <laughs> it's in cracking form. And uh, he said, I've got a cat that plays the piano. I said, yes, I've got a ferret that plays the flute. Well, to be perfectly frank with him, I didn't say that. I said something wrong, disgusting. But still, he said, uh, don't you believe me? So I said, no, I'm not such a fool as I look. <laughs> of course, it was a lie, but still, you can't be shot. Try he said, look here, he said, if you disbelieve me, he said, why don't you come back to my place and have a butcher's? He said, seeing is believing, and the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and last man's through, shut the gate. So I thought, well, why not? Nothing to lose. So I went back to his house, a little semi-detached house it was, and we went in, and I did shut the gate, because he went ahead of me to open the door, of course, and we went in, and this nice little house, very pleasant, and there was the cat. Also semi-detached, I noticed. He was a Tom. And he looked at this cat and he said, Tom. The cat's name was Tom. At least I presume it was. Otherwise he would have called it Ernie or Nelly or something like that. Very short-sighted if he called it Nelly, but still. He said, Tom, he said, give us a tune on the old Joanna, will you? And you know, you will never believe this. He didn't have to kick it up, he didn't have to encourage it. The cat walked straight across to the piano, nipped upon the old piano stool and started to play. I mean, I'm not going to try and kid you, he played very well. He didn't. But he did knock out a very amusing little tune. And I said to the fellow, what a wonderful cat. And I said, but this lovely tune that he's playing, what is it? He said, I don't know. He said, he writes all his own music. I said, no, no, no. I said, you're pulling my paw. He said, no, honest, honest. He said, he writes every note. I said, but that's the most beautiful tune. It's a lovely tune. I said, why don't you get it orchestrated? Do you know that cat was out of the room before you could 